What is going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're going to look at the Sequential Order Numbers Pro plugin. Um, if you haven't ever used this plugin, I've seen a lot of use cases for it, but a lot of times it's because, you know, a shop owner or site admin needs to migrate orders um, from like a staging site to a new site and um, they need a way to have the order numbers line up um, how the old site was. So. Um, the old site might have orders up to um, 1,000 orders and then the new site um, they want the new site order to start at 1,001 and how do you do that um, you can't really do that without using the sequential order numbers plugin due to just like the post IDs in WordPress and how that all works out so um, let's just jump into it the first step is to you know purchase um, and then download the zip file, this plugin, and then go to your WooCommerce dashboard. So let's get into this. And all the links in this video can be found in the description box below. So for example, I have these orders, and let's say I want this order um, just to be like, you know, 3,000. This order was something I'm migrating or vice versa. So I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna upload this plugin the sequential order numbers pro plugin and this is just a zip file and then I can explain a little more so I'm gonna activate this plugin right and you all might be thinking okay well if I go to like the order screen like how are these settings affected um, well really a lot of this happens in the WooCommerce settings so if I do go like dual screen for a second and um, I scroll down and the, the order numbers is like right after I activate the plugin, it's gonna go to the next um, order number start. So uh, 4279 is the next sequential number. So that's gonna be, if a new order came in just now, it would be 4279. So another example would be if like you had no orders in your shop, then it would always start at one. But if I want to like manipulate like my order numbers right here, um, I could do that by um, exporting my orders. So if I go to plugins, and I'll put this plugin in the description box below, but I'm using the WooCommerce customer order CSV export plugin. And, I, and if I go to an export, and I just wanna show you guys an example of this because I feel like a lot of people get tripped up on a lot of people get tripped up on this uh, this format and it's and it's a lot of times it's because of how this header looks like in the CSV file so I download a CSV file and if I open this up into Google Sheets you guys will see in a second Cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna import just like these exported orders, and um, if you look here, so right now the post ID in WordPress is saying, hey, the order ID is four two seven eight, uh, the order number is four two seven eight, and the order number formatted is four two seven eight. So if I actually wanted to change this order ID from you know four two seven eight to three thousand or four two seven eight to um, you know, 15,000 I could. So let's say I just wanted to make this 15,002. Um, I also would have to make the order number formatted 15,002, um, but really the ID in the WordPress database is 4278. So if I um, just export this real quick, I'm just gonna export, and I'm gonna make this, this is right before it, 50,001, and make this 50,001. So if I export this real quick, and I'm gonna re-download the CSV file after these table headers have been updated. And I'm gonna go and I am gonna import or merge these orders back in. And you can find the CSV import suite, plugin and export suite plugin in the description box below um, from your guy. So um, I'm gonna go to import orders and I'm gonna go 
and this is the new one and if I click next and I want to update existing records um, if a match is found and I'm gonna look at the order number or number formatted and everything should be the same so I am just gonna do a dry run and then I'm gonna run a live import and we can go back so I'm gonna run a live import and if you remember it earlier on this was 4278 uh, and this was this was um, 4228 and now if we look here we have 15001 and 15002 so that's just an example of how um, like the WooCommerce sequential order numbers plugin works and I think it is like a must-have if you're migrating orders between two WooCommerce sites and usually the, the, the use case is um, you have a WooCommerce shop for maybe a couple years and then you hire a custom development team or design and development team that specializes in WooCommerce um, like myself to redo the website and they might you know put on their own staging site they're doing test orders and then it's time to finally launch that new site and then you have to you know re-migrate all the existing order data back into the new site um, and some people might say well why don't you just copy copy you know the their the copy of their live site when you're starting development and a lot of times um, it's just like the database is so large from the old site there's tons of like extra metadata like they could have been using like two or three SEO plugins at one time and then they have different um, all that like meta fields and every single thing like and every single like product and every single like every single order has like a bunch of random plugins they might have been using throughout the, the lifespan of their, their previous site and I just don't like copying that site completely I'd rather start fresh and then migrate what needs to be migrated back into the new site when it's ready so I realized that was kind of a tangent but I hope you guys got you know some benefits and um, learned something about how WooCommerce sequential order numbers pro plugin works like now you also could do um, you also could you know there's a couple different options that you could also do with this plugin you could um, add like a prefix or a suffix so you could add something before it right so you could add you know um, WC-4279 or um, you could skip the free orders or you could add something at the end of each order number so these are just ideas to give you and a lot of times it's it's what your store wants or what makes sense for for your end um, and yeah one thing I would look at is on the sequential order number pro docs is look to make sure that you know if you're using any shipping providers or um, like payment methods that aren't normal like you know something that might not be stripe authorized at net paypal um, something just maybe out of the ordinary um, to make sure that you guys can still integrate while using sequential numbers pro so that's all i have today guys if you like this video make sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe all the links in this video are in the description box below and yeah hope you guys have a great rest of the day and see you next time thanks